All right, so we're going to do a parallelogram this time. And I think, whoops, this is probably the easiest one to understand because when I'm just making opposite sides parallel, that really sounds like a parallelogram. All right, uh, but I keep saying you don't have to worry about the fact that the other stuff has to be true. It'll just be forced to be true. All right, this one adds in this little extra little bit where it says prove it's a parallelogram. All right, explain why this is a parallelogram. So I'll do that. I'll add on my coordinate proof at the end, um, which will happen sometimes. Negative 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's A, that's B, that's C. So that means I'm going to go in this direction here. So D is going to be out here someplace. All right, let's make those opposite sides parallel. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go up and over. One, two, three, four, one, two. So up four, over two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Put it right there. Let's see. So that's point D, and it's at one, two, three, four, five. Zero, five, All right, and there's my four and two to make my opposite sides parallel. That is ugly looking. Yeah, okay, that's right. It looks a little off because of how I plotted my points. I didn't do a great job of plotting my points, but I'm okay there. So I've got my point, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to carefully find... my slopes and my distances here. DC, AB, CB, and AD. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here, and I've got to be a little careful. So I've got my arrows drawn there. I've got flat sides, which sometimes causes a problem. That's left to, that's right to. Okay, so my, my picture is a lot messier than usual, but I'll be careful here and make sure I've got. So DC goes to the uh, right, goes up and down, rise zero, run two. AB goes rise zero, run negative two. CB was, I already did these, 4 and 2, and that's 4 and 2. Now, if I look, I've got parallel right there. This is 0. This is 0 because 0 divided by anything is 0. All right, that's parallel. So I've got parallel sides right there. These two sides are each too long. They're flat. I can count them. They're 2. If I don't do Pythagorean theorem with 0 and 2, I'm still going to get 2. These two sides are 4 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. That's 20 equals c squared. So that one's square root of 20. This one's 4 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. That's 20. That's square root of 20. Okay? So what did I figure out? There's opposite sides parallel. There's also... These sides are equal. I don't need both of those. I just need opposite sides parallel. So I come over here and I put um, ABCD is a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel. Okay. So if you're doing these coordinate proofs, again, I think I said this before. If you're doing these coordinate proofs and you're thinking, I don't need the distances, you didn't. Okay, you didn't. But you have to know that going in. And make sure you're positive because if you needed the distances and they're not there, you get very, very little credit.